What's up, everyone? This is Tequila Kowser. Welcome back. I am your life coach, and I am an AMOM representative. And today on our I Am A Woman series, I am talking to you today about relentless, okay? <laughs> all right, but before we get into all the details, i just like to tell you who I am. My name is Tequila Kowser. I am a life coach. I focus on business empowerment and the lifestyle of an entrepreneur. I um, am a mom of two. I homeschool. I'm married. been married for 15 years, going strong. And I've been an Avon representative for eight plus years, okay? I started my Avon business because I quit my dental hygiene job when my daughter was born to be a full-time mom. In that time, I started my Avon business. We've won awards. We've gotten incentives. And, you know, we've actually just done so good in our Avon business um, that through the day, I take care of my daughter. I work my Avon business and my coaching business. And in the evening, some evenings, I get to go and practice dental hygiene at a local hospital, um, children's hospital. And I absolutely love it. Okay. So, you know, I want you to think about this when it comes to this word um, relentless. Was there ever a point in your life where you felt as if um, you wanted to let go of it, of something, but you was like, I can't let go of this. I can't let go of this. Um, let me tell you a, a story. Um, I, when I was in hygiene school, uh, this program that I was in was very vigorous, like very, very vigorous or rigorous or, or crazy. You know, we were always busy. I was, I had no time for a social life um, because after I did hygiene school, I would have to go and work in the evenings as a, um, a cash customer service representative um, for Huntington. So, oh my goodness, you know, I found myself in the middle of the program wanting to just give up. You know, I, I just wanted to give up. And this sort of goes hand in hand with what we talked about before when it came to persistence. You know, I wanted to give up. I felt as if things were going to be just too hard. I wasn't going to become a hygienist. And, you know, this program was just going to really, like, upset me. <laughs> you know, you know, when you are achieving or looking forward to doing something really great, um, doing something very different or being a trailblazer in your life, um, things are going to really get hard. You know, things are really going to get hard and you're going to want to not move forward or pursue that thing. But what I was scared of more than anything was like the fear of success. And um, what I had to tell myself is, if you don't do this thing, then what will you be doing? Will you continue being a um, customer service representative for Huntington, making minimum wage? Or do you want to become a hygienist where you're getting triple pay, triple what you get as a customer service representative, um, and you get to actually do something that you really love and that you've been looking forward to since high school? So in that moment, I had to become relentless. Um, and a relentless is just basically not letting up. You're being persistent. You're not letting go. You know, and I said, you know, in this moment, I'm going to have to become relentless. And I finished the program out, you know, graduated. Uh, and, and, and I absolutely love what I do. So I want you to look at your life right now or a situation. If you're thinking about starting a business, if you're thinking about doing a career shift, um, anything that you're going to move to in this next level of your next chapter in life, um, what is it that you feel like you just want to just let go of, you know, like truly let go of, but you know that if you let go of this thing that you're going to not hit rock bottom, but you're not going to um, advance in, into a next, uh, the next level of who you want to become, you know, and that, that starts for people who are interested in even like saying, you know what, she does Avon, I'm going to try this Avon thing. I'm telling you, you will start it and you're going to want to give up. Okay. That's my honest truth. Like I said, 
um, cater to those women who are in a um, in their midlife um, where there is transition, there is um, formality in your life, and you want to create solitude in that space. You know, you're going to want to give up. You know, because this is something new. This is something you may have never done before. And if it is something that you've done, you know, you've started a business and you stopped the business, you started a business and stopped the business. You have to remind yourself, what am I doing this for, and why do I keep tripping myself okay why do I keep putting my foot in front of my other foot and tripping myself you know pretty much so you want to uh, become a relentless individual you know because women we are made of so much stuff okay we are made to do so many things but in this season you want to focus on how you're becoming as a woman, you know, are you becoming um, a woman of substance or are you becoming a woman of, of, uh, of whatever, of melting, of like this candle, you know, but in the season, you want to seek clarity in that thing that you are wanting to do and wanting to move forward in, and you want to make sure that you have someone there that is going to be there to edify and empower you, you know, along the way. Like I said, I love what I do in my, my personal life, you know, as a mother and as a wife. Um, and then I do my speaking. Like I'm, I'm a master motivational speaker. I love speaking. You know, I do so many speaking engagements in my local city. Um, and my, my goal is to start getting out there on bigger stages and start doing this for more people, impacting more people. And in that time, and in this time that I am right now, I have to become relentless, okay? I can't let go. I have to keep persisting on to the mark, you know, in which I want to get into. And so you have to think in your current situation, you know, what is going to stop you if it tries to stop you, how are you going to move, maneuver towards that? How are you going to become relentless? And how are you going to empower others um, in this season that you're being relentless? All right, women. Um, I thank you for joining me on this series. Um, I am a woman series. And today I am wearing... <laughs> Guess what? Guess what it is? Just say it. Just say it. Relentless. Yes. This is another one of our um, beautiful matte lip gloss. This is called Relentless. And guess what? It is bright. It is light. At first, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is too bright. You know, because so many women of... Um, that are black women of color, what we do is we shy away from the light, the, the colorful, bright colors, okay? Because we feel that it doesn't, doesn't look right on our skin or it's just because of what a myth that we don't like bright or we don't wear bright colors, okay? We just don't. But absolutely start working yourself out of the box, trying new things. I tried this color and I love it. I got so many compliments. People were like, oh my gosh, Kina, you are wearing that bright. You are wearing that bright. I was like, yes, okay, thank you. Because I felt like I was out of the box on this one. But you know, sometimes we as women have to step out of the box in order to grow. You know, our comfort zone is just what it is. It's comfortable for us. We feel safe in this box. But it's when you start stepping outside of that box that you start expanding your capacity, okay? You start learning new things that, hey, guess what? I can do this. I can wear this color, you know, without feeling um, small or ashamed or feeling like I shouldn't be wearing it. You know, that's how I felt, to be honest, when I first started wearing this. But then I started wearing it and it started showing up on my face and it became so beautiful. I got compliments, you know, and people were like, what color is that? What can I do? And I said, you know what? Go to the makeupmochamom.com and you can buy this color. Um, it really is a beautiful color. It shows up well. It lasts long. Lip test and it doesn't smudge. Um, and you will absolutely love it. So again, to see more of our products, you can go to the makeupmochamom.com and you can also, um, if you are open to the opportunity of earning a side or an additional income without it interfering with what you're doing right now. Hey, listen, 
sign up um, to learn more information about the leadership position. And also make sure you get on the mailing list, you know, when you go to the makeupmocamom.com because you will be informed of all of our new things, all of our fun things um, that's going on with Avon. And also, you know, I make sure that you follow me here, subscribe, like, and share this with another woman who wants to be empowered and feel empowered. And today, guess what? You only have one shot of being the best you can and being great. You know, this is the time where you take the chance and you do something that's going to make your life different, okay? You only want to have one shot. You know, take your best shot. Again, this beautiful color is called Relentless. All right. Thank you for joining me on the I Am A Woman series. Until next time. Peace. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>